I'm in the Pacific Northwest where it drizzles for half the year. You know, we have the same weather system, really, that United Kingdom has. So that was when I convinced Joseph to give up this beautiful little gazebo that we used to have lunches in and let me put my beehives up here. They, they're protected from the weather. They're actually, in the summer, it's even nice because they're protected from the, the big heat. And there's lots of activity going in and out. These beehives are really, really flush with activity. I consider the longevity of the hive as an indicator of its real health. Okay. And lack of disease, to me, that's an indicator of health. So my beehives, they're mite free. And yet when they produce five times more honey, it's an indicator of five times better bee health. I don't have varroa. I don't have any of the... I don't have any of the diseases up here, you know, and let me... Oh, and what are you it. using to control the mites? Nothing whatsoever. I'm using really healthy bee forage. I have flower gardens planted all over the place. You know, we're a biodynamic farm. It's, you know, what you want is it's a closed system that as much as possible, the life force comes from this farm and goes right back into the bees. So it seems to be working. I got, I got naked wood here. <laughs> it lets the wood breathe. It lets the wood breathe. That's what I did that for. And these are cut out and put on frames in here. The rest of them are just free-built Loire hives, free-built. We let the bees do it. So yeah, but this is so nice, having this one area that's really protected. And eventually, all my bees will be in bee houses like this. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com, where we talk about bees, homesteading, and permaculture all the time.